Okay, so in this quick chapter, we are going to go over on how to create a very simple camera. Now, you have inside of Unreal Engine two different cameras. If you go ahead and go down here, you can go to create camera here. You have a camera actor and a cine camera actor. Basically, the camera actor is like a simplified version of the cinema camera actor. So the cinema camera actor does have a lot more settings in terms of like uh, your field of view and your lenses and your... Um, depth of field but it is very specific basically the way that you can see it is the camera actor is like a digital camera it's very easy to use the cinema camera actor it has full on like lens widths and well actually I can just show you so over here we now have create camera actor here um, you can also go ahead and go down to perspective and select the camera actor and now you are controlling this camera actor as you can see, what do we have here? Field of view, that's it. We have field of view and we have the aspect ratio, which is this ratio over here. Now, next to this, we also have the cinema camera actor. If I just go ahead and create that one. And then what you will notice here, if I just go ahead and cinema camera actor, is that you have everything from like your lens sensor width, your width and height of your sensors. Um, of your lens settings if it is like a universal zoom or if it's like a 50 millimeter lens or um, if it's like for example 200 millimeters if you really want to zoom in or you can just go for like a simple 12 millimeters all of this stuff is in here and next to this it also has like focal set settings and focal lengths because this one is so advanced I would recommend you just to play with it we personally will not be using it because it's not really worth it for this very basic introduction so we only have a camera actor left. If I go ahead and I go from perspective to my camera actor, there's two things that you need to know about this. As I said before, the field of view and the aspect ratio. The field of view you can see a little bit as like the zooming in and out, as you can see over here. So you can set it to whatever you want. I personally like to set it always a little bit lower, maybe to like 75. And once you, I've done my field of view, I can of course just like have a try to see how I want to, for example, showcase this specific environment so let's say that i want to like go a little bit down like this and just have something like this now we get now a little problem that i've showed you before but this is actually perfect that we have this problem i now have my camera actor and i just want to move this asset around to see if i can make it look a little bit more interesting but i cannot actually see the full um, gizmo over here what i can do is i can go down here and I can simply go ahead and I can go to layouts and split my view. This way, on one view, I can say my camera actor. And this is handier if, I, if you have two screens. And then on your other view, you can go ahead and you can just have a perspective. In which case, I can now move this around. And I can move this and place this however I want. So let's say that I want to place this like, a, uh, let's see, let's say a little bit like, I don't know. I just want to have it like just out of view. So you can like rotate it around a little bit more, something like this. Yeah, let's do something like this. There we go. So we just have like this very simple thing. And now we can just go ahead and go to layouts and we can go back to our single plane. At which point you can pick your camera actor again. Now the second one that we have, you just need to select your camera actor, is we have the aspect ratio as you can see over here. This aspect ratio is actually very handy if you want to have like a specific resolution for your screenshots. Let's say that you want to go for 1920 by 1080. Now having this aspect ratio, I will need to probably like scale up my scene. But now you can see with this aspect ratio, I can technically take 1920 by 1080 screenshots. However, I personally always like to often just set this like a little bit wider. So I like to you like move this down because as you can see, my camera for this specific scene, I don't know, maybe... Yeah, okay, maybe like, let's say 1.9. If you do not mind the resolution, so you can like mess around with it a little bit, I would recommend doing that. Until we got something like this. Now, of course, we can like see a little bit over here, but that does not really matter because this is just a demo. If you would not want to see this, you would need to go into mega scans and you would need to download like the upper floors and stuff like that. But just for this, this is like perfect. And then based upon this, I can also say, for example, okay, I need some more foliage here. I can simply go into my foliage painting and I can just go ahead and press paint. There we go. See? So once you've gotten your camera ready to go, you can of course just make everything look like a little bit nicer 
in terms of like just uh, everything that you can see over here. And then once you're happy with that, you can check back in with your camera actor. See, and now we just got like a little bit of foliage. So that's of course really cool. So this way we can very nicely, you know, if I set this a bit higher, we can create some very nice looking angles. So that's basically the basic overview of how to create a very simple camera. Now I will go ahead and I will later on show you also how to create some high resolution screenshots on this and also how to do like some small animations also using your camera. So for now, let's save our scene. And in the next chapter, we will go ahead and we will go over a little bit of an explanation between real-time lighting and light baking. Although Unreal Engine 5 has a lot, is a lot more focused towards real-time lighting, I still want to, of course, show you the light map baking. So let's go ahead and continue with that in our next chapter.